Oh shit, we're live. Good morning, good evening. It's the host of Life and Time Podcast, Wiz Fiasco, aka Wiz, aka Wizard. Why? Because you cannot fathom the wizardry. And I'm here to tell you that if every fish was one wish, you'd only have one wish, which will make you raging. And I'm here with my guest, DJ KZ The Truth. What's up, y'all? It's your boy, DJ KZ The Truth. Hope everybody's doing well. My other guest, the original comedian, D. Howard. Hello, all. They papa, they papa. And then we got the first lady of the podcast. Say what's up, lady in red. What's up, everyone? What's good? And on the Time Podcast, we talk about pop culture and life and have funny discussions. <laughs> the first topic of the Time Podcast, what happened? We talk about what went on for the week, what's going on, all that great shit. So, um, KZ, lead us off. Damn. Um, well, this week I um coming home for a little bit because I'm on my rotation, so it's like my vacation from work. Uh, I accidentally ran my truck into a power line by accident. I didn't have a spotter when I was running out, you know. But no big deal. Uh, that's pretty much it, really. You know. <laughs> so you decided to play real life GTA Five. Got it. All right, D. Howard. What what happened? Oh man. Um. Well, I did something I don't normally do on the weekends. I went out. And, um, <laughs> it was it was strange. I don't like smoking places because i like fresh air and shit like that but it was all right man the other than that man um um i had a, a, a fairly amazing weekend i guess man it was a nice weekend to absorb some of this outside energy what we call prana and shit like that but we'll get into that a lot later but um other than that man i'm cooling He's cooling. He's cooling. Okay. And then Lady in Red, what's going on with you? Um, nothing much. Um, I finally tried that uh, barbecue place out there on Nine Mile, Voodoo Barbecue. Really, really good. First time being there. Um, pretty much just been chilling. Um, getting ready for my vacation coming up. Um. Hopefully it's going to be warm in Chicago, Shout Town. Maybe, maybe not. Who knows? And um, my cousin had to beg me to watch Nicki Minaj performance at the Billboard Awards this weekend. So I watched a little bit of that. Let's watch Trash. Let's watch Trash perform tr Trash. Yeah. Him and my best friend was watching it. I was mainly cleaning my bathroom, so I really didn't watch it for real. For real. I mean, I saw Ludacris host it, but that's that it. But under that, nothing much happened. That's so legit. Oh, it's my turn. What happened? Well, hung out, did stuff. I think my friend had her baby. Congratulations to my friend. Uh, what else? I drove around for a bit, got paid, because that's what you do. Get money, uh, get money. Exactly, get money. <laughs> then, then I hung out. Oh, yeah, I already said that I hung out. Messed on my computer. Oh, yeah, that uh, cool new game that came out, NBA Playgrounds. If y'all like NBA Jam, you know, like Man. NBA Street. Well, Jam's pretty good. Yeah, yeah, y'all like NBA Street. You know, NBA Jams, NBA Playgrounds is pretty cool. A, I don't know. They don't like can't make the game annoying though, because it's it was fun at first, but you get online and all you see is a bunch of LeBron James and Steph Curry's. And it, I thought it, you was gonna mention that other game though. What game? Injustice too. Oh yeah, I'm not fucking with that because it's not on PC, it's on consoles. Man, fuck the PC. I just play. 
<laughs> they just stepped the game up. I'm assuming it's gonna be released later. But uh they wanna they wanna avoid the issues they had with Batman Arkham Knight and the last Injustice game and, and Mortal Kombat. Cause those dickheads know they own they own uh life support when it comes to PC gamers. Cause now we got the refund, bitch. Every major fucking PC retailer has a refund now. So it ain't like no fucking consoles. All we paid, we just give it back to GameStop. They give us thirty dollars. The dev just says whatever. We got our money still. Nah, bitch. Money from GameStop like that. Yeah, nah, bitch. We PC gamers get their money back straight up. So Injustice Two will probably come out later. But I heard people are liking it. I watched like the someone live stream like one of the story, like some part of the story mode. It looked pretty good. But um. Yeah, right now I'm just playing NBA Playgrounds, having fun with that. Trying to fucking beat all these damn Steph Curry's. That shit's annoying. Fucking tired of that fuck nigga Steph Curry, man. He never misses. That's what that boy do. That's his thing. No, fuck that. He has a 10 rating in the shooting. So people just basically just run and just spam the shoot button. With Steph Curry, they miss, they get Shaquille O'Neal or, or LeBron. You always see a Steph Curry or a Shaquille O'Neal combination or a LeBron and Steph Curry combination. LeBron will do the dunks. Steph Curry will just shoot like a bitch. He'll just continue to shoot, 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 shoot. This one dude shot like 30 times and made 16. Made at least 16. You're guaranteed to make at least 10 shots. Motherfucker just keeps shooting and shooting and shooting. It's really annoying. But they all have a character that. like that. Like, just like when you on, what was it? Was it this on um, 2K? When you use Jordan, that's pretty much invincible. Like, <laughs> oh, yeah, that shit's annoying. I wrote that back in, was it? It was 2K11 and 2K12. Fucking LeBron, when you press that hot step button to do the little spin into the shot or the dunk animation, that shit was unstoppable, dude. Like he was basically invincible. Like it was just set animation to score, and they finally fixed that. Like, and I think in the last two K, two K sixteen, they finally fixed that shit. Or two K seven, yeah, two K sixteen, they fixed it. Cause that nigga would just, that nigga would just spin and shoot or spin and dunk, and it was ridiculous, man. <laughs> that's what every that's what every NBA sports game got to work on, man. They, even though like a character is good. He ain't God tier, man. I remember playing UFC. If you play the old UFC, the good one, you play the you don't like the newest one. one. That's okay. It's a little bit rubber bandy. They try to be too realistic with that fight night shit with the right stick. Cause they got what's his name on now. <laughs> <laughs> that's just like a bit. Yeah, that's just like a bit annoying. I was like, what the fuck, like, man? And like you get a you get the best dude in the game, and like these these cheese heads will get that shit and they'll start cheesing. It's so annoying, man. And that's what it is in these NBA playgrounds. But it's fun though. It's fun doing the dunks. But they just have like little shit they gotta fix, or else like people are gonna run away from the game. Cause I don't wanna see if LeBron scores, I don't wanna see this asshole dancing. He's not my player I like. It's the last thing I want to see is a player I don't like dancing in front of my dudes. And I will like I'll count it. You literally wait five to ten seconds for his mother. You really don't like him. LeBron James. Look, he's a traitor. LeBron he's not my player. James. My my cousins love LeBron. He's talking about LeBron for so he, president. Because he's a child. Oh, we're doing. Child. <laughs> <laughs> no, we're better off. <laughs> but no, no, that's like you know. Let's say you don't like Steph Curry. You don't want to see this nigga dancing around. And then another thing that's bullshit. Why the fuck is Steph Curry labeled a legend? The dude's like two, like a year to two years older than me. How that nigga a legend? He just then became relevant three years ago. You gotta think about it though. When your father is a great man, and you are his son, and you're also a great man. <laughs> oh, fuck. You gotta do your thing. Yeah. <laughs> nah, they labeled Steph Curry a legend, and like. That nigga's got like crazy stats. He just can't dunk. I'm like, the fuck? Hey, when you can shoot like when you can shoot like that, why do you need to dunk? <laughs> That's true. That's true, man. Because he j- people just spam the shoot button with that nigga. Now they added a shot, a shot measuring thing to let you know when to release. And that's so stupid now because 
now people who shoot don't know exactly when to let go, especially when they got Steph Curry or some God mode shooter. Mm. Like that's where I'm like, damn, y'all dumb. But they took it and they got like a little meter system. You know how like in a NBA street, you got that meter system. You build your game breaker. But they got like a thing. It's like a lottery system. So you can't build the lottery up though. That gives you like a random benefit. You can't you can't build that up with a three pointer. So that was one thing. But I'm like, who gives a fuck? Because in the end, the main re- thing you want to do is make shots. So I'm gonna just keep shooting shots. And if you shoot a shot perfectly, you get an extra point at it. So I'm like, yeah. People are on PC are over here messaging the fucking developers, and they're just like, this patch sucks. Y'all are some dickheads. Get it together. Well, it's still EA a fun game though, y'all. <laughs> Oh, it ain't EA. I don't think it's EA. Oh, EA ain't had nothing to do with that. I thought EA had something to do with that. You know they they own about that. Uh, yeah, they own EA's, about all the all sports games. They do, but they share soccer and they share basketball. Uh, yeah, they share know, soccer and basketball. That's why I ain't no more on different NBA. Games. I mean, not NBA, but on uh, NFL games. You know, yeah. you, you used to have blitz and all the other stuff. They don't like make yeah. no game. Oh, gee, that NFL blitz was that shit was lit, man. That shit was lit. And then they also released that NFL Legends, where it had the like the legendary football players, and they create like fictional teams with them. Yeah, that shit was pretty cool. And then fucking EA, they play, they did the same thing on their their Madden. Where they had a mode where you could play as the legends, and I'm like, wow, how convenient, you motherfuckers, that you released the legend that you let people play as the legends, but only when that a new competition comes out. How how very interesting of you. Let me see. Uh, NBA Playgrounds is made by some company called Saber Interactive. <laughs> the publisher's Mad Dog Games. So they must be some new fuckers. That will probably explain why they give a fuck what people are saying when the people complain about the game. <laughs> All right. All right, next subject. Okay, so uh does anybody has anybody here seen Alien? Any alien movies before? Yep. Yeah. So KZ, give me your general impression on Alien. On a the movie Which franchise. One? Oh, the whole thing in general. Um well, excuse me. I'll just give my personal opinion. When I first saw the movie, I was I was a kid. I was like eight, nine, and it terrified me. I had nightmares. My dad had to literally sit in the room and explain to me it was fake. <laughs> but he even said it was like, son, that's just shampoo. Like the the foam and all that crap or something. He said some crap. He was like, he had to explain to me that no son, these are not real monsters. They're not gonna come and kill you. So, but yeah, uh, the movie was good, you know. Um, I watched the first one, second one. Then I watched the other, I can't, second what's one, the one? The second one's regarded as the best, Aliens. Yeah, what's the one, it's it's the newest, not the newest, newest one, but it's one that's supposed to be the prequel to all of them, that Prometheus, or? Yeah, Prometheus. Yeah, that's it. I watched that one. It, it wasn't as, that as bad. Yeah, it was alright. For uh, real, it was garbage. This I ain't gonna was, say garbage. It was alright. It was alright. That shit was that shit was old dry lettuce. <laughs> it was alright. Now nah, you know you think it had a, uh, Alien vs Predator, which I liked that one. Oh, that was that was garbage. But you know what, Prometheus was better. You, whoa, whoa! You think it was better than Alien vs Predator? Uh, Look, I don't man. know. It has some non-lathan, and that's about all I had going for it. <laughs> it had my honey Sanalathan. But that shit was garbage, and that led into fucking Alien vs. Predator Requiem, aka Visual I ain't watched that one. I ain't watched that one. Oh, good, good thing for you. That shit was visual diarrhea. I watched that on bootleg the first time I seen it, and I just thought, you know what? Maybe it's just bad quality because the bootleg. I saw that shit on TV. It was still terrible quality. Like, it was just dark. You couldn't see a damn thing. Like, it was like infestation of herpes. That's what the aliens were, just the infestation of herpes. They just 
covered the town in slime and mucus and shit, and like somehow they formed a massive army, and like there was like a predator or people call it the predalian hybrid motherfucker. When a and little like, on, wow, what's it he, called? He crashed the spaceship. He crashed the spaceship, but somehow survived, and like. The town wasn't even alerted to the spaceship crashing, except for like the super government. My friend, that is called my friend. That is called the power of plot. And um, um, was it called the um the xenomorph babies? The when the aliens had the babies and they come out like that. Like I just think like what if you like I don't know. I don't know how would I would feel. I had the baby coming out, and I know it's going to shoot out of me. Like, what would you do? What would you do? You'd be dead. you go, ah! I mean, but before the baby, like, before the baby shoots out, because you know you can feel that thing in there developing. <laughs> you just fuck, man. All you can do is just, ah! Is this kind of image what every woman in America goes through? Uh, no, th- this is completely different. That's completely different. That's I mean, just the- yeah, but you know the way you were describing, you was kind of describing it as if he was having like childbirth. Or like. No, 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 no. This ain't stomach. normal childbirth. This thing ripped through your stomach. There ain't no C-section. That shit yeah, got no me. C-section. This thing mm, they can create their own C-section. That shit got me no fucked way. up. All right, I saw that. That shit. Had don't me it eat? Up, don't man. it eat? Don't it eat? Um, your insides too. I'm pretty sure it does because it grows. A lot of people now are questioning the physics of aliens. Now they're like, "You won't ever catch movie, me in space." Because the first movie, it took so long for it to get big, and so it was like scurrying around, and it was like trying to find a rat or a roach. Except this thing would try to bite the shit out of you and kill you. But in the Alien Covenant and all the other alien movies, you know these motherfuckers. Ten minutes later, in the move in the film, and it's like they they fully developed and shit, and they they queens or something, man. I blame this on aliens. I thought they had a queen though. They do, but now, like, really, in the first movie, there was it wasn't established that there was no queen. It was just the fucking just the alien man and the egg. And in the second movie, they established there was queens, and that the first one was a, a drone. And then they also established kinda like these, yeah, kind of like ants, kind of like ants, sort of. Oh, yeah. And then they, yeah. they fucking, if there's no queen available, one just randomly becomes a queen. Like, how do you know there's no queen and to make another one a queen? I don't know. That's what the um, animal king, well, the insect kingdom, I should say, do. Like, you know, they queen. Like, it depends on the insects, the ones that do have queens. Another queen will be born, but it, it's weird. I'm trying to figure out how they know there's no queen, and then like the bitch, the bitch dead. <laughs> then, yeah, I'm like how the fuck? Like it was just like after the first Alien film, the quality of what the aliens looked like went further down. Like the quality of all the films went down. Even though Aliens was good, I really didn't give that a full watch. I think I watched bits and pieces of that. Still to this day, I haven't fully watched Aliens all the way. It's okay, but I'm like, it doesn't sound appealing to me. Alien should be a horror movie. So I, I didn't give that a watch. Horror I tried to watch sci-fi. Alien. Oh, yeah, horror and sci-fi. They go together perfectly. But what was it? Aliens 3 was boring bullshit. All I remember is she was supposed to be with prisoners? What was that Alien 4? I just know Alien 4 were dull, boring garbage. That shit was a dumpster fire. That shit was nothing but dry lettuce. Because the studio kept messing with the directors. I've never seen dry lettuce. <laughs> exactly. You ain't. You don't want to see dry lettuce. It's brown, and that shit just takes up the scenery and makes everything look bad, like fucking autumn in the desert. Yeah, nobody want no dry lettuce. You want some wet, juicy lettuce. Yeah. I was like, damn, this these movies suck. I don't, I don't remember. You know, I think I watched Alien 3. That was the one with the bald black guy, and they were like monks. Well, they were, they were supposed to be monks, but they said, fuck it, let's make it edgy and turn them into prisoners. They're fucking prisoners. And it's like, okay, she's, they're not trying to rape her. They're just like, yeah, we're prisoners. We want to reform our life and be good and all this other bullshit. That movie was dull as fuck. And then they killed off the, the characters that were likable in the second movie that you actually do remember. Like the little girl, Newt, and fucking Hicks. They fucking killed them off. 
like in the beginning scenes because it's like what the hell so i'm like that's bullshit you know one sign that a movie's gonna be bad is if they kill off a character that was decent or likable and from the last movie that was good the movie was garbage what else you said alien versus predator right mm-hmm. you said you like the first one yeah it was pretty decent to me i, I enjoyed I, it that shit was a video game, bro. Like, you didn't see a health bar in your mind when they were fighting the queen? <laughs> I mean... Yeah. I don't know. I was younger, though, so, you know... It, yeah, boss battle and shit. Yeah. As a, as a younger... As a young little jet, well, How old was I? I had a young teenager, if that. Yeah, young teenager. I could have been a little older. I'm still a teenager, though, so it, it appealed to me. Yeah. Because you know the guy who did that? I want to say it's the dude that did Resident Evil. Paul W.S. Anderson or whatever. I never really saw it and watched Resident Evil. Like I, The only one I seen was when Mike Epps was in the one. I think that's the one. Oh, yeah. That shit was, that shit was visual diarrhea. <laughs> oh, man. I don't even know what's worse. Resident Evil 3 Extinction or fucking... Alien versus Predator. I don't even know which. They kind of fucked me up. I didn't I, but no a while ago. I didn't realize that there was based. There was a comic book that was based off of it, or that oh, was what? based off the comic book. I mean, there's like a shit ton of comic books. Yeah, there's like a shit ton of comic books. Oh yeah, they got they got a crossover with Batman one time. That was, oh yeah, I heard Predator kick Batman's ass. I already, I already kicked his ass. Like, about time. Take that, Batman. Aliens can stack up to you. But I heard uh, Batman beat the Predator later on. But that, yeah, see, well, always I digress. <laughs> yeah, he needs to che- go prep time. Batman's a cheater, y'all. The only way Batman wins is if he's a cheater. <laughs> but what? Yeah, that Alien vs. Predator wreck room, though. That was a terrible. That was when it hit rock bottom. We could have let Alien vs. Predator slide. It was the generic action fl- action film. It was it was dark and ugly, and they was in a cave. But you know what? You could hide the collateral damage, unlike the other ones. You could hide the collateral damage because you're inside a fucking cave, si- a little pyramid underground system. And so you can't really say, where are the humans? Why are they doing other shit? And they couldn't say that they were going to overrun the planet either. Because I don't see how the aliens can overrun the planet when they're, like, out in the middle of the goddamn Arctic. I don't care how powerful those holes are. Bulls can still drop them, so there's no way they're going to get further out in the cold. And then they're in the, like, I think Antarctica or the South Pole or whatever the fuck. So there's water. So then there's no way they could have overrun the planet. So there was, like, really no stakes. There was no stakes. And besides seeing your my girlfriend Zanalathan hang out with the predator, which is awkward as shit, because I'm like I'm thinking, yo, are they gonna like have sex? Are they dating? With the predator and her? Yeah, that was weird. They just kind of teamed up, and it was kind of like some weird. It was just some weird shit. Like, yo, here's your gear. Let's get ready to fight. And I'm like, it's so cringy because it's like they ain't talk, but I can still feel the cringe. It's like here, it's a war, it's a warrior thing, you know. You, you another warrior respects another warrior, you know. He felt the spirit of a warrior, so he was like, "Let's go." Use your armor, <laughs> and I hope you equip you here. Take their take his skull, which should be dripping with ooze and acid, but I think I dried it out enough. Put that on your arm. Here's a here's one of my spears. Let's go. I'm like, yo, the predators were stupid. Like, I know y'all go to their train because y'all younger. I don't know. I guess they go to the train. The aliens to train. I swore. I swore before Alien Covenant. I swore that the predators created the aliens to train. I swore they said that. I swore, man. Maybe they, maybe they would just capture them, like you know, blood sport, just to train the kid or the younger aliens. Well, not well. They are aliens now, but. <laughs> Okay, the the aliens and the xenomorphs. The aliens are yeah. really xenomorphs. I mean, it's weird. But uh, yeah. So they use them to train. I see. I because I, I, 
Have you seen Alien Covenant yet? No. Do, are you going to see it? It'll be on my list. I got a lot of things I gotta go watch. <laughs> Would you be upset if we spoiled it? I guess not. I mean, I had other things spoiled before, so we can spoil this. No, I'm asking. You. <laughs> no, you can't. I mean, you can't see it. it. No, nah, you can you can spoil it. I mean, by the time I watch it, I probably forget it anyway. Oh, cause I, I don't want to get you upset. Oh, you spoiled it. Cause I'm just saying it's an alien discussion, and I'm just saying the reason why I thought the predators, you know, like I said, cause they had them in the little cage and stuff. Like they had the queen tied up, and they basically forced her to give birth. Like she was just some whore. She Spit was. it out, bitch. But but in the, but in Alien Covenant, you know, you find that did create the fucking aliens you know i get i won't go in full detail about it man i don't, I don't want to spoil You're it talking about the um hold on you, you saying it was you, they found out who created the aliens uh kind of yes yes you thought it, it had some, yeah that's what i'm saying it had to have be part of the um prometheus like no it's not it's not it had nothing to do with that movie it literally alien covenant man it says look we don't give you what you like from prometheus we'll give you what you like from uh aliens plural not the single alien well you know we're gonna give you a little bit of that towards the end but mainly we're gonna give you Promethe piece of prometheus at the beginning where it's all cool and it's world building with the whole grand setup of the technology you know, just looking at the world, but we're gonna give you none of the substance from it. We're, and we're gonna give you the crazy nonsense of aliens where everything just hits the fan and we don't even think about the logic of how the aliens function. And then we're gonna give you that crazy claustrophobic travel in the ship feeling of the first alien. They, they basically give you the best of the three aliens, hmm. the best of the three movies. That's all that is. And they, they explain they explain some stuff from Prometheus, but they they don't answer the major question that you leave the fucking first pre Prometheus with, man. Like the girl's going to look for the home world with her homeboy, uh, android. And like this isn't a spoiler because you can watch this on YouTube. But I guess they fall in love. She that would have been nice to see. The android. But I think the android falls in love with her. He he does say that he loves oh, her. So so it's some krillin 18 shit. Well, hold on. What? Never mind. 18 is not an android. She said, uh, she, she got turned into a human, though. Yeah, no, she was already a human. She got she's like, she said, Yeah, she's a cyborg. Oh, I thought androids were the same thing as cyborgs. No, cyborgs are still human, but they have you know, robot oh. enhancements and whatever. An uh, android oh. is a, a complete machine just built like a uh, okay, like the Terminator. Those are androids. Ah, okay, I feel you. I feel you. These fucking robot hierarchies and classes and shit. They should make a movie about this and not just Terminator. Like literally make it to where humans are going extinct. And the only way to save us from the virus is we become machine. Machines truly become evolution, but it's it's us. As a, as a class of cyborgs versus androids, who's gonna win the fight? Oh, that's me. I wrote that, y'all. I wrote that. Not you niggas. I wrote that. But what else? Oh yeah, yeah. Pretty much, uh, Shaw and the and David, they like have a. Th I I don't want to say they have a thing. I think it's more of Sh of David. He likes her because he's a robot, and he's like. He's massively intelligent, more intelligent than we ever imagined from the first Prometheus. And he did all that shit on purpose. You get, you saw it coming, man. He killed, he killed the fucking dude by putting the like, the juice, the black gooey juice, into the guy's drink when he was being a dickhead. Like, but he's like that David times two. He just does mean, random, mean experimental shit for no reason. It's like why. And like a guy Just even asked him. Like know. you think it's entertaining. I guess you could say it is for entertainment. Like even a guy asked him, the guy says why, and he's like, for creation. He's like, what do you believe in? I believe in creation. 
It's like, well, okay. It, it, it's just like, okay, he falls in love with Shaw. I'm not gonna spoil it. I'm not gonna do heavy spoilers, man. I know you're interested and you want to know the answers from Prometheus. I'll be able to tell you the answers from Prometheus do not get answered. Well, they, they do not. Maybe they, they, not. they plan to make a sequel, most likely. They dropped the fuck out of Prometheus. Everything that you were wondering about for Prometheus is gone. The main baseline that was going to give you the answers for Prometheus is gone. Okay? It is gone. All right. You know what? I'm going to spoil it. Shaw's dead. Who? The girl, Elizabeth Shaw, the redhead. Oh. Lady in red. Huh? Tell him, tell him about the movie, man. Tell him about the android. Well, for one, you go see the movie, eat before you go, or don't eat at all. Um, I got a pretty strong stomach. I'm, I'm the same for those that have a weak stomach system. Um, it was very intense for me. But um, what exactly do you want me to say? Because I don't really want to spoil the movie. Just tell them about the android, David. David. Um, David. The evil was, robot. Like I know he he was he was evil. He was trying to manipulate people in a way that. He feel like it makes sense, and I guess it was more of a what you said, like a revenge type of plot setting. I want to say and, it's revenge. Uh, so he's Ultron. Not, you know what? Not, kind of. His main thing is, he said they're dying. He said the humans are a dying species. That's why they're trying to go out into space, and he refuses to let them. <laughs> he refused to let them let them find another basically like find another habitat. He, he like he said they shouldn't deserve to live, and I'm not gonna let them. Who created him? The, the fucking creator of Whalen Whalen guy, the Whalen Corporation owner guy who died in Prometheus. Why the hell? That's why Prometheus is bad. There's so many terrible things for the sake of being shock value. Why they love to have this whaling nigga was shoved everywhere, and they brought him. Why the hell would he go on the Prometheus with his daughter? So your light years upon your yeah, years a, away. Who's gonna lead your company? That's the thing I don't get is like why people and me and Wiz was talking about this uh, when we go saw it. Why is it when people go on space they go with their spouses and stuff like that? Don't. That's what I'm saying, but the, I mean. The because they feel yeah, they gonna come back. I mean, why do they go with family members? I think should somebody be left back just in case? Because it's a da- either way, it's a dangerous mission. You don't know what's gonna happen. So and you saw they was just traveling normally and they got fucked up. Because <laughs> anything can happen, especially in space. You're out there with unknown or you know stuff out there, so you don't know what can happen at any given moment at any given second. So y'all just both want to take this adventure together. I mean, I guess the main thing with that was at least the Alien Covenant, Alien Covenant, it made sense because they were like trying to build, establish like an entirely new colony. They were trying to colonize another planet, I guess. And so they were, it was like they, they even said in the previews that they're the first space mission to have all couples like everyone's together if you didn't realize there's gay couples too everyone's kind of like why are there gay couples Ew. that's stupid i'm like <laughs> <laughs> i'm like i see your point but i don't hold on i got a question i got a question what no offense yes. to the gay people this is scientific facts and logic right now i'm just using this i reproduce yes <laughs> How they reproduce? Okay, the main reason why I said I see people's point, but it's not completely stupid, is because they were they didn't reveal this towards the end, or maybe they said it when they were checking out the after the space incident they had with like the meteor shower or whatever the fuck. But 
they have embryos. I don't know how or who the mother is, let alone the father. So they put the are they have they have machines to peep the baby in the yeah they have machine they have like a drawer oh, full of embryos that's like you know how you have like fossilized stuff with like mosquitoes and shit inside of it yeah they have I know what you're talking about because they're yeah. actually they do that in real life right now I mean well, won't they be dead uh uh-uh. uh what uh, they've tested it on animals before it's creepy as crap but um. They use the embryo and they get the sperm, of course, and they put it in there and they let it, you know, grow as if, if it's in the mother's womb. And it's literally growing in like the you see it growing in the it's not a bag, but it looks like a bag. But it's it's creepy as crap. <laughs> okay. Ew. Well, there you go. There you go, people. You got it. That's how gay people can go on the ship. Maybe the gay people were just the best. I mean, they had over two thousand people. The thing is my main problem with the movie is I was cool with David being crazy. That's cool. Because he was already a dick in the last movie, and it was warranted. They're idiots. And Shaw Shaw didn't deserve what she got. She was a good gal. But they didn't explain how Shaw died. I assume that she did die in a crash. Maybe she was trying to stop him, and then she crashed the ship, and he wanted her to die, and he was upset. Because he said she was the first human who was nice to him and he loved her. Because they spent like 10 years together. I'm pretty sure they fucked. They'd be kind of hot if they did. How she, okay, well, he can have a, a robot dick and she can ride it, I guess. But. Yeah, they're going to be doing it all night. Literally, cause there is no sun in space. I mean, there is sun, but it's like no true daylight cycle. So they can do it. Man, he won't get tired. And she'll get tired. tired. That's what I'm talking about. Give me a robot woman. Give me a robot uh Tiana. The crazy Trump thing is something. crazy thing is they're actually working on that. They're trying. They've it is crazy. They're actually making this like Japan is literally working on this. And they're trying to make Android well, yeah, Android women. I think men, but they're not really caring about the men right now. They're actually just trying to make cyborg women and you can make them how you want them to look get you a megan good or whatever why am i not there you go why am i not surprised japan's always working on that freak shit robots fucking stuff and prometheus you you, you know people gonna buy that shit (laughs) they they borderline confirmed it with like this alien covenant man because like her and that robot were chilling for 10 years bro like he fell in love with her they hang out and they talked I think they had a relationship. They didn't really establish it too much. I guess, like I said, another problem with the movie, besides the characters being un- unbelievably stupid, is that if you want to get some of the, the girthy meat of the movie, you got to watch all these damn like YouTube videos and stuff. Like I guess they had a lot of material they cut. Because the movie was two hours. They could have benefited from the 30, 20 to 30 minutes. But they it's two hours straight, which is nice, I guess. But Still, they cut out a lot of shit, kind of like Prometheus. And like, you, you see the crews hanging out, and it's cool. You kind of like them a little bit more because they're hanging out. You don't really see that in the movie, like, as much as their relationship as much. And like, these people are so unbelievably dumb. <laughs> if I liked you, I could forgive you for being stupid. Hell, I could say, hey, I'll make the same mistake you made. No, no, I cannot. This movie literally did not learn from, from Prometheus, it borrowed from Prometheus. And still, it didn't get get away with the bad stuff. They're still going on planets and not wearing helmets. What are you doing? You're going on a planet in some Tims and a fucking hoodie, and you're just like, "Yeah, this ain't New York." The cops ain't gonna stop and frisk me. Maybe the uh, machine got atmosphere. Well, I'm saying, as far as like that planet they went to. They went to a damn planet. In other words, they should have took more precautions. Exactly. Exactly. They did the same thing in Prometheus. It wasn't Prometheus. They was, I don't give Prometheus at least in Prometheus. Wait, hold on, hold on, wait, wait, wait. Now think about think about who's the crew. What they're scientists. And, like they have, no, hold on, wait, wait, wait. I know they're scientists. Think about who's the crew though. Question, question being, why would you go? <laughs> question being, why would you go to an unknown area, something you don't know anything about, 
and not take precautions of what you can touch, what you can taste, what you can smell, or whatever. Anything can get in your or it, you know, in simple, your body. Why would you not take precautions? That's it's just ludicrous. It's a simple thing, baby girl. To 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 our white audience out there. And my white family members and my friends, because I tell them this all the time. It's just a white people thing. <laughs> yeah, there was no black people. I think there maybe there was one. I think a uh, lady in red wasn't it? What you think that lady was black? That was like in the room, little quarantine medical room with the, the yeah, guy. Yeah, he was. You, you think? Well, I mean, uh, not not the freaking empire digger. He didn't do anything. <laughs> But he he did do something. He was there being fine. But anyways, just in case you don't you realize, about- Jesse Smollett from Empire. He is the gay dude from Empire. This gay son. So his he, name is Jamal. That's his character's name, Jesse. Jamal. It's Jesse. Oh, he was gay for real. Jesse was in the movie, and he played a straight man, and he didn't do shit in that film. He was just in the seat. Looking dramatic and scared. He was trying to get he, some That guy had 10 lines at the most. He trying to get some pussy and some dick. Damn. Yeah, he <laughs> he had a wife. It was a white chick. Don't even think they should be together. I was like, they put this man in here for he, star. He power. looked he looked like he looked like he uh, a date a white girl for real. She didn't have no titties. I mean, I was like, they showed him. This isn't the, they show her. Cause like they're in the shower. And I'm like, oh, nice. She got a cute <laughs> face, I guess. But she like, I don't even know. I'm going on a tangent about this. I don't know. It just bothered me that it was like Jesse Smollett. And Jesse Smollett didn't do shit in the film besides look worried and scared. Like he had like some lines that were, at least when he spoke, it was logic. He spoke logic. Like we shouldn't do that. What do you expect <laughs> him to do though? Like it, he didn't be, really say much. Be, he literally said, be a manly man. Yeah, we shouldn't do that. Uh, he could have more character to him. His girl had more character to her. Like she was literally the females, the main prominent females were the smart ones. And it was like the main chick that's discount Ripley, who's hanging off the fucking spaceship in the previews, and then Jesse Smollett's girl, his wife. And then I'm like, yo, fuck you, man. Y'all, how come y'all are the only two couples that I actually are to legit together, like literally together. Like y'all ain't split up and doing separate shit. That's that's not cool. They're to go legit together. Well, hold on. Why that's not cool though? And because everyone else has got to split up with their couple. Yeah, like the main. I no, my baby gonna stay right next to me. Cause I don't know what the fuck exactly. out there. And I gotta have my baby right here. She need to be here. The pussy need to be here. <laughs> Everything need to be right here. And then look, man, look. And then the main pilot. Uh, everyone says he's a good. I mean, okay, yeah, he did a good job acting. Okay, I can feel it. I don't see him being likable, but he ruins his likability because of his emotion. And I think it's the whole spouse situation. Maybe it's not him. I think his name's Danny McBride or whatever the fuck. He's a comedian. But uh, I was like, I can't take him seriously because of that. And I. Couldn't take him seriously because he kept crying over his fucking woman, and he's the pilot. And like, damn, my girl's on that, my girl's on that fucking planet. So let's get closer to the planet. It's like, and then Jesse Smollett, and then his wife. You're supposed to. He doesn't say, say shit. Fuck him. <laughs> he was trying to fucking save his save his wife, and Jesse Smollett. No, that's his, what I'm saying. I'm saying, I'm saying. I'm saying. You. He's supposed to say fuck her and just go. Well, I'm just saying the main thing was they didn't know what was going on because the hurricane and he's the fucking pilots were worried about his wife. We we know what Skyler gonna do, y'all. He gonna say, fuck that bitch. Let's get out of here. <laughs> Look, man, I'm just saying they weren't gonna leave. I'm just saying, don't get the damn you got two thousand look, Jesse Small, like I said, he did nothing but look worried. His wife was the main one talking and delivering lines and saying sensible shit. She was like, Listen, Danny McBride. AK Tennessee, don't get the fucking ship close to the planet because there's a hurricane and we are literally in a true spaceship. That means it's not designed to go on the surface like alien craft. It is a spaceship. So once we get within gravity's head, this planet's gravity reach, 
it's gonna be hard as hell to pull it the fuck out. And there's a hurricane. So if we get fucked up and they're ruined in the hurricane, we are going down. And there is over two thousand people that are sleeping. Whoa, 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 whoa! You, there's more people. Yes, they have like a, a couple thousand people. Yes, but they only have like ten people that wake up because they're the. I guess they're the main. I guess they're the main people that explore shit. Like they're the main people that are handling the the job, where everyone else is just the, like a regular Joe Schmo colonist. I guess. I would have woke all the motherfuckers up. I've been like, hey. Look, we don't need two thousand dumbasses over here scrambling around, eating up food and sucking up the oxygen and shit. Uh, sorry. There, we in deep space. Shit, they dying anyway. Shit. Uh, well, they didn't die, but uh, they didn't. They didn't die. Die, but it's you can. A lot of people are just saying, yeah, they did, but pretty much uh, a lot of people died. A lot of mainly the main people that woke up. From that little, I don't know what the, their solar flare, whatever the fuck, they're the main people that's supposed to handle the situations and explore the planet and see if it's safe and terraform it, then wake up the colonists. And so they're the ones that go on the planet and they don't even have their fucking helmets on and shit. They just go to this random planet because they got a like an earth beacon. And that's another thing, just like Prometheus, they're stupid and they don't follow the plan. Like, uh, niggas and, are and, sick. And, and, and there were no niggas in there. I mean, there were niggas, but there weren't niggas doing this. Niggas yeah, gonna run. Right. And niggas ain't gonna. How many niggas gonna go to space? You know what? You right. I mean, black, just I like, mean black people. I'm sorry. You know what? You right. Because just like Prometheus, guess what? The black guy was on the fucking ship the whole time being the pilot. Yeah. I ain't coming down for this bullshit. Did not move. Mm-hmm. I'm not coming down for this bullshit. And like. Everyone's being stupid. The pilot wants to just drive the fucking the massive spaceship near the, the surface of the planet. And it's like, how close can we get, computer? She's like, we can get 80,000 feet or something like that. Like 80 kilometers or whatever the hell above the storm. Any closer, or we're done. And he keeps pushing it like, you really shouldn't be that close. I don't know if lightning bolts can go upward. But let's just pretend they do since this is a goofy ass universe. Let's not do it. And like they're saying don't. And he's like, very closer. We might need to talk to my wife. It's like, oh my God. They're gonna crash the spaceship and slaughter all these fucking people. They need but, a superman. Okay, I'll be honest. I'll be honest. Yeah, they do need a superman. I'll be honest. They didn't crash the fucking ship like I thought they would. So all the two thousand colonists did survive. And he did manage to do a little smart and, but his wife died. Now his wife, no one of the pilot fucking guy what marries this chick she's an idiot so one of the people gets sick and another thing about people being stupid this is a combination this guy gets sick he's smoking a cigarette since when do space traveling astronauts smoke cigarettes who are supposed to colonize a new planet but have a disgusting what if you get cancer you moron there's radiation he, he, in space he, he need that nicotine that nigga team. I was like, yo, <laughs> you're smoking a cigarette? I was like, what the f- Like, what? That is not even a legit realistic thing. I think I know, not for a fact, because I don't travel in space, probably from TV shows and shit like that. I want to say the movie Apollo 13, there was a guy who smoked cigarettes. They had to break that nigga from that habit. The mission room and all that other great shit. Cause like he's gonna be suffering from withdrawal if he like goes to sleep in hyper, you know hyper cryo sleep. So I know I know just from movies and shit, space movies and stuff. You're not supposed to be a smoker, and this idiot's got a cigarette and he's smoking right, and then he like flicks the cigarette on a foreign planet, my dude. He's literally smoking a cigarette, blowing on the plants and shit, and then, and making smoke circles. Then he flicks the cigarette onto the ground. I shit you not, he literally does it. And then, like, there's, like, plant spores or some shit. And I don't know if it's mad. But apparently the little spore things fly into his ear. And I'm like, oh, shit. And it it does, like, the most unimaginative shit to him. It just flies into his ear. And then it goes into, like, the side of his ear. I thought it was going like, to go to his brain and scramble his fucking brain up. But, like... 
the smoke triggered the fucking spores and they got mad and they like made an alien come out of his body but like the ladies this chick's trying to help him get to the ship right and the pilot's wife she's like scared because the dude's like getting pale acting crazy going just doing all this funny looney tune shit shaking and like the chick that helped him to get to the medical center She's like, okay, he's sitting down. I'm about to leave. This is creeping me out. And then, like, the, the fucking pilot's wife, like, locks locks the chick up with the dude. And it's like, what are you doing? Like, okay. She's like, yeah, I can't break quarantine. And then she goes to talk to her husband. And then her husband's like, what's wrong? And then she's like, Tennessee or pilot. What the fuck you want to call this dude? This is crazy shit. And then he's like, calm down. She's like, no, you don't see what the fuck I'm seeing. You know, saying like a lunatic, like a nut. Like, calm down, man. Like, she's acting like an idiot, like babbling and shit, getting scared, stumbling over shit. I'm like, oh my goodness, I've been scared before, but I've never stumbled over shit. The first thing I do if I get scared is I get down low so I don't trip over nothing. This idiot's tripping over tables, knocking oh, over paper. What? Cocaine's one hell of a drug. It must be. She's over here screaming and crying and shit. Like, you don't see what the fuck I'm seeing. Don't tell me to calm down. I didn't even know they were married until he said it, to be honest with you. Up to that point, until he was, like, asking what happened to his wife, and then he figured out it was her that died, I didn't even know that they were fucking married, bro. Like, and so she locks the girl in quarantine, and the guy's, like, going crazy. <laughs> And so he like, it was like that was a pretty. That's Lady in Red was fucked up on that moment. That's why she's quiet. That shit, that shit like popped out of his back, like it, it, its claws popped out of his back, and then like, it felt like like oh, okay, on, like, this. Really like that. What? What's not really like what? Nothing. <laughs> Dog. Yes, it was, man. No, it's not fucking. Talking. Oh, it fucking pop up. Like, what's the best way I'm gonna start this? Okay, imagine eating noodles, right? Put a shit ton of noodles in your mouth and then spit it out your mouth, but don't chew on it. Just spit all the noodles out your mouth. It was like that. It just it popped out of his back and it was like. So for future like, like reference, for everybody, y'all can spoil everything for me to make it fair for everybody else. It's, yeah, it's, I mean, everyone's seen it. Everyone who wanted to see it has seen it. And they're basically like trash in the movie. <laughs> and and, and like, to answer another question, I want to see the movie, but it's like one of those movies I just don't really, I want to see it just to know what happened. I just don't really care. And yes. Yeah. Did you like Prometheus? Uh, I, I, I wanted to see it, but it's just like, like this movie, I want to see, I but it ain't like like a Logan or a movie like those movies. I don't want to be spoiled on those movies. And movies like this, eh, I don't want to, but I don't care. But um, I think we should jump to a different topic or something. Yeah, just know that these motherfuckers are dumb as shit walking around. Oh, and by the way, David creates the aliens. Yeah. yeah. That doesn't make no sense, but yes, it doesn't make any sense, does it? Because he fucking he takes the, the the random plot device goo from Prometheus and he like kills all the engineers. So therefore he killed Shaw, he killed the chick, and he killed the fucking engineers. He basically wiped out everything that you wanted to know about in Prometheus. He said, Oh fuck that movie. And then he he used all their bodies and shit and her body to create the aliens. And, he's ex- and he was trying to lure more humans to the planet. So he basically got onto the ship and now he's going to use that ship and all the people on there as experiments. It's like, damn. Okay. So uh, what's the next topic? He's sick to his stomach. All right. Alien versus what who can be the alien like one-on-one 
I'm laughing at something. But uh, um, shit, everybody. <laughs> nah, I'm just playing. Um. Okay, I know. I got who, who you got? Uh, who you got? We'll let baby girl go first. Baby girl. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I know you ain't listening. Well. Uh, <laughs> Gonna let uh uh damn she um fell out. Look 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 I I got one for you, KZ. All right, so <laughs> I'm laughing. I'm sorry. <laughs> Somebody keep texting me stupid stuff. Well, <laughs> okay. okay, I got I got it. I got it. Um, and before I answer, I got I got a. Well, I saved that for my topic, but um, one person, it's a few people I know who could probably kill an alien, but uh, just to keep it simple, really. Oh, Whoa, she's okay, back. sorry, y'all. My thing just like completely shut off. I don't know how it did that. Okay. Okay, look, name your name name your person that you think can be the alien. Spider Man. Oh shit, that's a good one. Oh, well, we're know, still though. on this alien stuff. He, uh, it, I, I got, I got a topic, but we gonna. He did say he wanted to finish it off, but I already said, my baby girl, you gotta say something real. Just say something. I don't know. You know, look, I, I okay. Here's mine. I think Wolverine could be the alien. Yeah. Only problem is acid blood. The acid blood. But I he think, can yeah, he can regenerate. I don't know. It depends on how many aliens he's fighting. Because I don't know if like the acid keeps like if it falls on his hands, it might melt to his tendons and shit. And then he, it might melt to his hands, and like he'll like his arms won't work for a little bit. They could just jump and man, start whipping. Walk, man walked in lava before. He got... <laughs> well, yeah, and I mean, if it burns off your tendons, you got your bones left. But you gotta wait for everything to grow back, so he'll just be laying there with acid melting his skin and his tendons and muscles off. But I as, think as, we, as long yeah, as it ain't what's it called, just as long as his hand ain't sitting in a bucket of it, he's fine. No, Sp- you said Spider Man. That's actually a good. Well, I don't know though, because the fucking the, the the fucking aliens are in there for keeps though. They they ain't fucking around. They get you gotta get a care. They ain't fucking around, man. Spider-Man, Spider-Man, don't, Spider-Man don't fuck around. If it's serious, he, for, he ain't fucking around. Well, yeah, yeah, he can dodge most of their attacks. You know what? The Spider Slayers, because aren't Spider Slayers like basically like aliens? Like they're built like aliens. They got like claws and shit and long yeah. ass sharp tails. So I guess he could beat an alien. Well, I don't know. It depends on Ice what it is. Ooh. He'll freeze the ass. Oh yeah, Iceman, yeah. Well, Wonder Woman? That's a good one, baby girl. Wonder Woman. <laughs> Wonder Woman, you talking about the chick with the Whataburger symbol? <laughs> the chick with the Whataburger symbol. She could do it. The chick. Yeah, Wonder Woman's the shit, man. She could, she almost be Doomsday and Batman v Superman. If Superman uh, was trying to be such a such I'm a ball pick, hog. I'm gonna pick baby girls white look alike. I'm gonna um, pick black canary. <laughs> Uh, that's actually a good one. I, I don't. If the, if the alien's close though, she might be fucked. But like, can, is there Sonic Scream? Like, is it Shockwave as well? Like a Shockwave? Yeah, it'll go a distance. I don't seen a stop a car with it before. Oh shit. Okay, yeah. If it's like, oh wait, we gotta break it down. We gotta break it down. They're on a football field there. The, the fight starts in a football a stadium. That's still enough space. Yeah, okay. They both started the both, both started the end zone of a football or meaning soccer stadium. Oh, you thought I was talking about American football. Oh, I'm talking about soccer, man. They want a soccer field. Okay, maybe Black Canary could do it. I get but I mean only thing she's got is her sonic scream, so if that damn thing gets close to her. I mean, if it's got shockwave force, like you said, I guess she's good. But Spider Man, I guess Spider Man could do it. 
Well, Batman. You think Batman could be the alien? Yeah. Um, prep time. <laughs> oh, here I am, Batman. I got prep time. I can. I got all the time in the world. I can plan any fucking thing. <laughs> I can plan any fucking thing because I'm Batman. Just give me the planning and I can do it. Mm-hmm. Fucking be the predators. Archie. Archie can do it. You know. You know what I'm talking about, right? Archie from Archie Comics. That Archie. Yeah, Archie. He be he be the predator before they had an Archie versus Predator. Oh uh, yeah, no. Nah. Yes, Archie be the predator. He can do it. He can be the alien one to one combat. I don't know what he did to beat the predator, but I'm pretty sure he can do it. Just like Squirrel Girl. I'm giving props to Squirrel Girl. Squirrel Girl can be the alien because she's fucking Squirrel Girl. She can call in squirrels. The squirrels, y'all. They'll swim the fuck all over you because the squirrels. She beat Doctor Doom and Thanos. Who else you got, Casey? Who else you got? I call bullshit on that because that's just plot. But that's about. I mean, who everybody? I like. I'm just saying, it's a monster, but it ain't like an invincible monster. Like you can get somebody decent enough powers or skills, and they could probably take one out. What about Luke Cage? <laughs> Hell yeah, yeah. Nigga punch a hole in that motherfucker. I mean, it takes a lot of shots to kill an alien, though. Like, that's why I said the first alien was good in the first movie. Because he was, like, legit. It was a single alien. It was a drone. But in, alien, but in the aliens, the plural one, they were, like, all weak and mushy. Like, they were easily killed because there were so many of them for plot. And, like, they said that it's mainly because... They kept getting reproduced so much. But like, get a good, strong, steady alien. Who takes like a lot of bullets. Luke Cage. You know what? Yeah, okay. Luke Cage can beat it. Fucking beat it. Fucking Luke Cage, man. You want to watch the Defenders? Hell yeah, my wife. Oh shit, I got a good one for you. The Deven- the the four the Defenders members versus four aliens. You said what? The the defenders versus four aliens. The, the, the defenders, depending on if everybody cooperate. You so, man, Jessica Jones is Jessica Jones is trash. She can get fucked up so easily, man. She's like that's why I was saying if they cooperate, then yeah, if everybody follow you know teamwork. Yeah, but if people just bullshit, and she don't. She might get herself fucked up. I can't say Daredevil get himself fucked up. He, well, I don't know because Daredevil's still a normal dude. It's just he has super senses, so he can like he knows that it's there, but he won't. I mean, can he react fast enough to dodge? And like, Hell yeah. I mean, can he, he? His senses are so sensitive. If somebody could teleport, like let's say Go Goku, and we're gonna have to switch the topic up because I think some people fall asleep, but um. But uh, to end this here, like if Goku or Nightcrawler teleported, like Goku used instant transmissions, popped in, or or Nightcrawler popped in, he would know they were there. Well, fucking Nightcrawler makes a poofy sound and makes smoke. No, it's it's not. That's not what he would sense. He would sense them re-entering the atmosphere. Like he, it's like if they popped up right next to him, he would sense that. Well, I mean, like I said, Nightcrawler has poofy smoke, though. Well, Goku does. All right, you got me there. You got me. Goku versus 900 aliens plus one queen. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah, I got you there. I got you there. Aliens will beat Goku. He's trash. Oh, shit. Damn it. I'm messing up shit. Everybody Everybody in fishing can beat Goku. Fucking Sonic the Hedgehog can beat Goku. Sonic the Hedgehog versus 10 aliens. Go. Uh, shit, I don't know. Uh, uh, that depends. I have to see that. That was something I had to see how that go. Nah, I, I had to see that. That's actually a pretty good one. What the Flash versus 10 aliens? The Flash. 
All right, I got all eight of them. I'm ready now. You said Flash get killed eight of them. Damn, you give my man Flash like, like less credit, man. That's fucked no, up. I, no, I'm saying he can kill them all. I was talking about I got all my questions. So I'm ready for, I'm for them. this for to be funny. All right. So we got Do you have any more verses for the for an alien? Nah, I'm good. That's them the main two that popped in my head. Ninja Turtles versus an alien. Uh, uh, <laughs> <alien>. <laughs> oh yeah, I have to go with alien. Well, uh, well, fuck. Man. But all right, go ahead with your questions, bro. Okay, yeah. So enough with the aliens, you know. If I see another zero more, I might shoot that motherfucker. But um, all right. So we're gonna spin the bottle with each other real quick. Pause, but um, no, because I'm because, no. well, you're a girl, so that don't count. I was talking about it's three other dudes, you know, that's kind of uh, yeah. uh, <laughs> spin the bottle to see who she kisses. That's all uh, that's all the spins will be about. Just spin okay, oh, hell no, I'll, I'll show. I'm not gonna ask that. shit. Uh, <laughs> that would have been fucked up. Okay, so uh, we're just going to do a simple one right now. What is, and everyone has to answer, of course. What is your best feature? Okay, I'll reword it. What do you feel is your best feature about yourself? It could be physical. It can be something you're able to do, anything. And no. Who wants to go first? My best feature is I can think of great topics for the podcast. My best feature is my mind. Wait, what? Is he sleeping? No. Can oh. you hear me, though? Yeah, we can hear you now. We can hear you, Charles. <laughs> oh. Like Xavier and shit? Oh, shit. Like Xavier, yeah. We can hear you, sir. What's your best feature about yourself? Me? Oh, my mind. He said it's mine. Oh, Ooh, shit. I should have said my oh. mind. Damn. My friend is so funny and stupid. She won't leave me alone. I'm trying to hold a podcast with you guys, and she just keeps making me laugh. Like you should oh, tell her to join the podcast. <laughs> I know I need to tell her, like for real. But baby girl, what what is your uh huh? <laughs> what is your uh feature about yourself? You feel that is like your best feature? Um, I would say my personality. I have a my personality. Um, I'm a good person at heart. You know, I can be goofy, I can be silly, I can be chill or whatever. But you know, I'm also a good person at heart, and I love to help people. So I think my personality is one of my best features that really doesn't get across as I would like it to be. Because this generation, we look more at a physical appearance than anything else these days. Physical appearance will go away eventually, most parts. Yeah, so. People are more attracted to the physical appearance and then find out who you are later, which that's, should be the opposite. But, nah. Titties get saggy. Balls drop. A uh, whole bunch of stuff happens when you get older. So. She could be bad and bougie now, but how she will look in the next 40 years, we don't know. Bad and bougie skanks. Bad and bougie skanks. Bad and bougie skanks. Bad and bougie skanks. Okay, I'm gonna fuck y'all minds up with this one. Okay. Don't fuck so, my mind. So, let's, okay, everybody, let's, we're gonna pretend we're all already happily married, whatever. Okay, so... We have our significant other, 
and let's say we're on a boat and the boat is sinking and y'all have to make a choice one person gets to get on the lifeboat and one person stays who would stay and who would live go are we having some type of titanic question yeah i was listening to a titanic joke and it popped in my head so this is a titanic moment wait who, who are we choosing either you, that's you, that's you you gotta pick you either saving yourself or you're saving your significant other oh my significant other <laughs> i was actually surprised you said that <laughs> why would i get married and not save her i don't know you sure i mean but you, you know that you're dying right oh i've lived a good life it's kind of annoying to be live anyway. You got to make decisions. You got to breathe. You got to use the bathroom. People make you mad. You got to eat. Oh, oh, I like, I like that part. What you talking about? I love to eat. I like That's the eating part. part. I like the eating part. Eating part's good. Mm. Chanel Hart and Kimberly. Ooh. What's the next question? Nick. Uh uh uh. Everybody answer next. Skinks. Oh yeah. By the way, people, follow me on Discord, man. Follow, follow Life and Time podcast on Discord. I'll do you all a favor. I'll put the link. I'll put the link for the Discord. Where the fuck is it? Hmm. And we we're gonna hang out on my Discord. We're gonna talk shop. If you want to chat with the Life and Time Podcast crew, go to our Discord. Here it is. Here's the link. It's going to the chat. Three, two, one. It's in the chat. Click on it. We post sexy pictures. We talk movies. All that great stuff. Go to the Discord. Life and Time Podcast. Thanks. Okay. I'm going to answer. All right. Who would I save? If we had a real bad argument that day. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> no. And, um, I was just ready to move on. <laughs> I'd be like, baby, this ain't working. <laughs> Damn. You just tell Jesus I said, hey, for me. <laughs> <Tell you. laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> and, um, Yo, I'm just gonna make this work without you. So, spin, 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 swell, <laughs> sir. Why? Why? She shouldn't. She Let shouldn't have said I had a little ding. To... Oh, she's got a little ding. Like it's not true, you whore. Not too late now, bitch. You drowning now, bitch. <laughs> or it's not true. It's not like, true, you whore. About this shit when you said the top of your voice when all the people were looking at you, bitch. Fuck that. Oh man. <laughs> you oh. still have been talking crazy to you, huh? Oh. Oh, oh damn, son. Damn. Me and my <laughs> wife, we we gonna play paper rock scissors. Oh no, you're not. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, I like how she called you so quick. Hey, let that man live, bruh. Let that man live. Paper, man rock, live scissors, up. shoot. Paper, rock, scissors, shoot. I'm just kidding. I'll say my, so, I'll say my love. So I ain't going to do that. Like. Life, her life depends on whether rock beats paper. Yeah. Nah, I'm, this, to be honest, you know how I am, baby girl. You know, I, I can't. I got to. I guess got to save somebody. So I'm not going to let her die. I want to. Let her go. I'm going to talk some shit, but I'm going to let her go. I'm like, I love you, but this some fucked up shit. You know this, right? <laughs> you better not be fucking no other nigga for at least a year. you like, this some bullshit. <laughs> this some bullshit. Don't leave me. Damn, what if she what if she took your ex? What if she took your PlayStation and then deleted your 2K account? I'm dead. Shit. <laughs> Nah, 
you're done. The one dude almost beat his girlfriend over that. You don't delete a man's 2K account. What's wrong with you? He almost beat his woman for that. What I'm gonna do with it? I'm in heaven now. I'm telling. No, no. You you lost your ticket to heaven for deleting my. Let, let me account. let me tell you what. This is what my wife's gonna do. When when she save and she dead. I mean no. When I, when she save and I'm dead, she gonna do like the old um, lady from the old Titanic. She gonna come and get in the water. She gonna be like, you know, it's some good dick in that water. You know that? <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> Cause you, you know, know I'm dead. I'm in the water. Like a trap to lure someone to sharks. <laughs> that sounds like a trap to lure. But nah, for real. Dude. Oh my hell! What am I watching on here? That's disgusting. But um, you said oh, help. Uh, they this song it's a joke, but they made this product called it's called ball dryers. <clears throat> what? And they they dry your balls like. Literally, it's stupid. But um, baby girl, you next. <laughs> I mean, uh, I don't know because I would, I, I would truly love my man. I do. I love my man to the fullest. I would do anything in the world. Then sacrifice yourself. <laughs> <laughs> She said, hell no. Nah. <laughs> oh, yeah, KZ, you got to get on the, the Discord, man. We trying to get it popping over there. We got five members. Um, I thought I was already on them. Yeah, you're on there, but you're not on. It says you're offline. Oh, I got to get on the thing. But we, we got people, man. We actually have well, legit we, people. Well, we got to stop interrupting on um, Baby Girl, though, because I want to hear what she got to say. Don't, don't worry about that. Um, Wait, what? What you just said earlier. I, it's okay. Oh. Um, I guess if he was a really, really good husband, I would sacrifice myself. But it just depends on what type of person he was to me. You're such a good woman, but he's good. He, if he's a good man, he will sacrifice himself. He will push you into the boat. Which is hard to find these days, but you know, push come the shove. You know, love conquers all, whatnot. I know that if I live my life the right way and I did everything I can, and if something was telling me that he would be better off than he could do a lot more things meaning like he's not completely finished on what he's left to do here i will sacrifice my life so he can continue to do what needs to be done that is very sweet you're such a good gal what a good gal y'all he's like i didn't finish the laundry <laughs> i didn't finish my laundry yet if i was, if I was that dude i, I would have been like babe i couldn't do it take my seed and live a life <laughs> yeah, I mean, yeah, that actually makes sense. He's gonna have children before he dies, man. I mean, he might want one more. You know, come he on, like, the boat, Hold on, hold on. The boat might not even be like sinking fast, fast. So he he'd be like, "Hey, I got one minute, babe." I, I mean, come on, now I'm about to die anyway. You gonna live with the kids, baby? You know, you be like, "Oh, okay, uh, okay." I don't know. deal with one minute, man. Hey, 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 this man dying. You are you serious? I can't even get one more night. <laughs> Damn. Look, man, you for all you know, for all you know, your man might not have uh kids. Y'all didn't get a chance to do that yet. Cause y'all was on your honeymoon. Uh well that honeymoon trust is something gonna happen because I'm gonna pull a knife. Yeah, something gonna happen on the honeymoon. It's when he's about to die is when you get the kids, huh? I I I, I pull out the full play. She said no. She said this how this how oh this how it's gonna go like this. She's gonna be like Baby, I don't do no one minute. Come on, baby. I'm finna die. I'm sorry. Damn. First of all, let me tell you, the honeymoon, baby, all the tricks is coming out the books. There is no birth control. There is no condoms. So. Yeah, but let's just say that all the tricks that you was about to do on the honeymoon, it gets into the you ship. Now. You on the cruise ship. It's about to crash. Damn, <laughs> ass is fat. Shit. 
It's all about that head action now. Oh, so you're gonna say let him let him die happy? Is that I don't know. What's wrong with that? I mean, don't be so you know, just something too. I mean, oh this is how I would do it. I do it romantically. I get that last passionate kiss in, pick you up, throw you on the boat, and be like, Actually, you know what? I don't want to think about that because that's how my brother died. Oh shit. Let's not think about that. KZ. Uh I <laughs> didn't know. Yeah, he had that last hoorah before his asthma picked up and killed him. So Oh, we're sorry. Yeah. KZ, sorry. Good job, KZ. How I share this picture. This girl got fatty. I mean, it's okay. I'm not crying. It's just I don't want to think about having sex before he dies. Because then it would be like my brother's situation. That's real. Wait, who else was? Did Don, did uh D Howard answer? Yeah. Yeah, he gonna throw his wife to uh sharks. Damn. <laughs> no way. Wait, what? What did D Howard say? Depend on if they had an argument that day. <laughs> that day. Yeah, depend. Depend on how she acting. <laughs> yeah, she found my. She found a pair of my dirty drawers that morning. Ah, <laughs> the pair of the dirty drawers. <laughs> it makes perfect sense. So I guess you better have to act right, huh? No, I'm just not going to wear no draw. The, oh, my Jesus. <laughs> it makes perfect sense, that, y'all. That's not a good idea sometimes. Going commando is always a good idea. <laughs> Free <laughs> balling. Go, going, back, going bareback, man. Yeah, yeah. Free balling. Okay. It makes perfect sense, y'all. If you're not acting right, you don't live. It's the end of it. You don't you don't get a chance to live if you ain't acting right. What's the next what question, the story is, Go commando. Because <laughs> horses don't stop, they keep going. They just keep going. You oh. better fall on that on the street. Oh, oh. Yeah. It's a long dick today. <laughs> uh Casey, what's your next question? Oh no, I'm sorry. I made myself laugh. Um uh, damn. Hold on, I'm gonna get it. Uh, I can't ask that one because that's if I y'all better not answer that one. Y'all think y'all get? But uh, let me see. Oh, you here it is. Uh, <laughs> I just go on the internet, generate stuff. I can't, I can't use me all the time. I come up with some crazy crap. But my next question after this one's gonna be for me. But on uh, this one is, damn it, I lost it. Fuck, shit. Oh, what is your biggest pet peeve? Um, when people get physical. Remember last week I said that rah rah shit. Don't be getting your hands all over me. I don't want to play like that. Let's get physical. Physical. Let's get I can let that slide, yeah. Unless you're in the bedroom. Yeah, I can let that slide. You have no choice. I mean, don't want to. You mean you let it? Hold on, hold on. I'm like, you you... your woman trying to please you. She wants to get a little. Mm, but you, you ain't going to let that slide. Boy, you you, you got to let it slide. You, you got to let it slide. You got Wink. Wink. Get it? Man, that's the battleground right there, man. Everything goes, man. You got You better know what you're dealing with, cause if she really kinky, she start beating on you. What you gonna do? You well, gonna I, do see, I, I'm kind of, I'm really, I'm really tough. Like I'm, I'm hard to steal. So I, I kind of like a little roughness. You can rough me up. You ain't gonna hurt me. That man said he got a heart of steel. I hear all I, hey, I'm, I'm rough. You can jump on me. Punch me. All I know is she done with a sensitive person. Shoot. Rah. I'll show her that Hashirama style. Because when it comes to the bedroom, all everything off the image. Shit, Wiz, you know how many beds I done broke? Jeez, I don't want to know how many beds. Calm down. <laughs> 
I don't want to know. Just, I'm just saying, I you know, this guy that's how wild guy. it can get. I ain't no fiend. I'm just saying. This guy's a fiend oh. confirmed. Put I'm just, I'm just, leg. I'm come just on, crazy baby. in the bed, man. This guy's like, come on, baby, put your thigh on my leg. Let's do it. Put your thigh <laughs> on my leg. Come on. Bring your friends and your home girl. Let's do this. Mm, nah, oh, oh, that's too that's too far for me. I don't like uh-uh. I, I'm I'm selfish. My main target is my main target. Mm -hmm. I don't want no extra in there. Because that's I when do. you're gonna see me fight a female and maybe stab her or maybe like have a gun and I'll shoot her or something like that. You like, think you're gonna get a shooter? Like why? <laughs> have fun, man. Because my man is my <laughs> Meaning, what's mine is mine. So you don't touch what's mine. I don't share what's mine. You won't lay a finger on him. You know what? I really don't want you looking at him. Or yeah. I'll shred you in half, whore. That's what she said. She somebody said gonna look. You can't get. You can't get mad at somebody I mean, looking. You no, know, I mean you can look or whatever, but them eyes better not be staring too long. You better get some seconds in and keep on the pushing. This bro, she done brought back old, old memories. I had to deal with this crap. I mean, old memories, like old you know, memories. You have some oh. eyes, you know, them wandering eyes, but them eyes better not wander too far. Don't be looking at him all. Don't be studying my man because I you know, don't do that. Don't mess with her man. She'll be the one to give it to you. Don't you mess with her man. Find your own man. Girls love to do that, though. They do because as a female, we female, we know what other females are capable of, and sometimes they play this little manipulating role. I can read, and if I feel like you up to something. I be like, you like what you see? I'm quick to speak up. It sounds hot and fun. To the homie, don't get none. And it's not, and, and just the point, it's not being insecure or anything because trust, I will be very secure. It's just you just have some females that literally just will outright intentionally do stuff, and you gotta let them know. Man. You gotta let them know your position and your boundaries and your place is this. So stay in your place. Go I feel though. Here. I feel though if she's just looking, I don't. You know, like uh, like a good dude's not gonna be like, oh yeah, you you like you like what you see, baby. No, you know, I'm gonna say you like what you see. I mean that's cool, you know. That's better than what I used to deal with. I had somebody want to stab somebody. I was like, "Damn, the bitch just looking." Did you at least pinch the bitch? As the song, as the thing said, "Did you at least pinch the bitch?" I had a guy that I dated. He didn't like other guys looking at me. I mean, you so can, you he would intentionally or try to be all up on me just to let them know this is mine. I mean, you know, that's dudes do that. But if you look at like, for instance, somebody looking at my girl, I ain't ain't mad. Now I done had incidents where mother suckers come up and be like, like we walking in the mall or something, and they'll come hold the door, and this stupid ass said this. While I'm right there, he was like, "Hey, you so beautiful, baby. Let me hold the door for you." I'm just staring at this motherfucker like this. You piece of shit. I like, 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 can be just as dirty. Trust me. Yeah. So all right. That was a good episode. Good questions, KZ. Good discussions on what can be the alien. And uh, yeah, it was generally a short episode today, but we about to wrap it up, man. We about to wrap it up. So my pet KZ, peeve is people popping a bubble gum. Stop popping that bubble yeah, gum. Wiz, you gotta let everybody answer. <laughs> I thought he did answer. My bad, man. You good. <laughs> All right, y'all got anything else y'all want to say before we head out? Wash your drawers. <laughs> Don't wear tidy whities With the raggedy waistband. Yeah. Let me give y'all guys some advice. The perfect underwear or box of briefs. They keep everything together, and they look cool. You won't hey, be embarrassed. You some new drawers with you. Yes. <laughs> you spend an at your cousin, at your female cousin, how to just take you a pair of clean drawers and put them in your pocket. 
Mama told me always wear clean underwear. You never know what's gonna happen. Yeah, man, your balls might get sweaty, might get hot. It'd be like and wipe and wipe your ass thoroughly. Wipe your your ass, lady in red. Anything else you got to say? (laughs) Y'all are stupid. (laughs) Damn, that was the last. Oh man, Uh, no. You said y'all have to confirm. (laughs) See you later. No, I'm kidding. Go ahead. Go ahead. No. Um. If anything, do not hide certain stuff in your in other people's closets. No dirty drawers. Or leave certain items underneath their beds unclothed. Don't shit. <laughs> or, or experiment with cousin. certain objects. Yeah. Look, y'all are there's a lot of y'all that don't know a lot of you know family, or if you like me, have a big family in a certain area. The safest way. The whole state is your family, so you don't talk to nobody. So I'd rather do that. Learn your family, yeah. learn your history, yeah. know where you come from because I promise you, you don't want to end up marrying somebody that you find out was your cousin. That's nasty. But well, you know, legally, that's not against the law. That's still nasty, especially it is nasty, but... especially if you're first. So I cousin. think the lesson is oh, go ahead, go ahead. But, well, um, I don't think first cousins can't get married, it's second, third, and up. Family is family, how you look at it. That's nasty. True, true. So what Lady in Red is saying is don't be going around fucking everything because one, you may fuck your cousin or two, you may end up having your, your children, your, you know, your, your, your descendants fucking their cousin because you'll be having so many kids. And the crazy thing is, you know that happens a lot. People just don't say it. I mean, technically you are fucking your cousin because we all eventually came from like... No, I don't want to think of that. <laughs> Stop it. I think You're it's ruining the, the fantasies. <laughs> I think it's the cousins theory. Like we're all 50th cousins. Like everyone's 50th cousins to each other. See, this blood test is otherwise. Yeah, we're all 50th y'all, cousins. Y'all, y'all ain't 50 cousins to me. This I blood don't. test is otherwise. You are not related. Yeah, it's just that the bloodline gets diluted the further. That's why you my have to. Fam- my family bloodline is super diluted. We, we. They fucked every every race in the world, so yeah. No, I'm not. Leave. No one's cousin. So if your family, so basically, what Lady Red is saying is, don't be going around being a whore. And if you are gonna go around and be a whore, then make sure you're doing it all around the world. That well, way, you, you, you just gave the worst scene. advice. In the world. <laughs> so in other words, he's saying, be Lil Wayne. Yeah, man. Basically, he wants he wants you to be Little Wayne because Little Wayne said he wish he could fuck every girl around the world. That's how you get crap, man. And AIDS and blue balls. Yeah. Wait, hold on, my bad. Blue waffle, not blue balls. Well, y'all don't be going around fucking like a whore. But yeah, that's Life and Time podcast, man. Episode six, episode nineteen. Next week week will be episode twenty. I think Game Lives Matter will be on. I'm not sure. By the way, people, keep your bets, man. Keep your bets. If you make a bet, stay with your bet. If you if you quit the bet, the bet means you forfeit. You can't accept the bet and quit. It. That's all oh, I'm yeah. saying. <laughs> Game of Life Matter comes on and gives us a bet. We have to take it, or we do take it. If you say you can't do it, and you already said I'll, t- I'll bet take. Bet doing. Uh, he does like gaming bets. Like he bets. People like he'll give him like a thousand dollars or like I think right he was like four thousand for this one challenge for this one group. Now he's at six thousand dollars now. But he gives him like gaming challenges to beat like video games. You talked to him last week. He does like gaming challenges and stuff. So it's like oh shit, it's like tough challenges, man. He ain't playing like he'll give you a tough ass game. You got to beat it within a certain time, but you could win money. Which is very exciting. Mm. But uh, yeah, keep your bets, people. NBA is gonna be a blowout. Let's just wait for the Cavaliers and where's the battle? Uh, even though Boston did beat the Cavaliers, if if Golden State can sweep the fuck out of Spurs, that's an early sign right there. They're gonna fuck up Cavaliers. They've been doing it all season. 
okay. This is Wiz Fiasco, A.K. Wiz, A.K. Wizard. Why? Because you cannot fathom the wizardry. So how you gonna act when I talk to you in the C section? And uh, support the Patreon. Everything that you want to reach us in, contact us to support us in, in all in the description. And uh, I'm gone. <laughs>